Hi guys, it's Sigrid and today I'm going to be coming back with another unboxing for, I don't even know what month this is for. I just got this in November, so I think this might be the November box, but it could also be the October box. Today I'm going to be unboxing one of my favorite budget-friendly book subscription boxes, and this is the Reveal Book Box. This is a romance book subscription box, and all of the books that come in this box are signed by the author, and you get a few extra goodies. Now, if you have been watching my videos, you know that this is a little bit smaller than I normally unbox. That is because I downsized from getting the four books back to the two books box because I haven't had a chance to read the books that I have already received. Um, and I felt like if I was getting four different books every single month with just this one, I would just be overloaded with so many books. So I downsized and it's a little bit um, cheaper as well. I think this was like $31 um, with shipping and everything. So this is really great. So when you open it, it looks like this. First thing I am seeing is a cozy and I love that it's black. It says, I like my coffee in my reveal book box, books hot. Book box, books hot. Okay, <laughs> here it is. That's pretty cool. So you would just put this on like a soda, like a can or something and just, you know, it won't freeze your hand. This is really cool. And like it doesn't it doesn't take much to satisfy me like if you don't have to give me expensive things in a box just give me something that i can use that has like something like this like a quote like that is so cute. the next thing i am seeing is a candle it's like a little tea candle i i think i've gotten this um in like one of the previous box from them so i think they send candles a lot so and it's soy candle on the back there is a code to save I'm not really a fan of like tea candles. Usually I like it to be at a, like a bigger size. I mean, but I guess I'll use it, but like, I don't know. I am next seeing a pin. It looks like it's a white pin. If this is a white pin, I'm gonna be so happy because I never had a white ink pin. It says, Jenna, oh, can you even see that? You can't see it, I don't know. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to take one of the little things out. So this says LJ Evans, where music and stories collide. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Feel free to pause and like read it if you want. And then on the back, there's some cute. Well, on the back, there are some books by her. And actually, I'm seeing that it's on Kindle Unlimited. I just got Kindle Unlimited because I got a Kindle Oasis absolutely love it i recommend that over the paperweight so many times i love the fact that it has buttons i bought it just because it had buttons i absolutely love it and I, i'm thinking about doing the two-year membership because they gave me a special offer where i can sign up and get almost a 40 percent discount if i you know sign up for like six months three months or two years two years is going to be like a little bit over a hundred dollars but i'm like it's going to be cheaper than them taking out $9 every single month for it. Okay. Oh no, it's a regular pen. Hmm. But anyways, okay, let's move on. I'm seeing a book. Ugh, I just love the fact that I'm getting so many bookmarks to like put in my books. Okay, so I'm seeing this called Dirty Player. Ooh, by Gwen McNamee. That's a nice looking bookmark. <laughs> and then on the back you see like the social media stuff this is like good promotion for like books and things like i'll remember that i saw something called dirty player and i'll probably get it if i see it the next one i see is the twin lies duet oh this looks nice too it looks like there's like something going on oh and apparently it's a series these are the other ones okay i am seeing a pin i usually don't get a lot of pins in this box so it says, I'll read it. Without the night, there are no stars. Hold me today, Maria Lewis. Oh, that's so cool. Next thing I'm seeing is a refrigerator magnet or it's just a magnet in general. My last one I have is on top of my fridge now. <laughs> just 10 Seconds by Jenanine Colette. There's like a little book synopsis on here. It's very tiny. You'll need a magnifying glass to read it. And I have really bad vision, so. One of my favorite, favorite things is that you get candy with it. Ooh, that is so cool. I don't know. I'm just going to open it. I can't eat it because I'm... Oh my God, it's my favorite. These are Werther's. Ooh. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to ruin my diet. 
Oh man, I'm so mad that I can't eat this. Oh man. And it's like, it has like the gold little paper. I haven't had these in like so long. Moving on to the books. The first book, ooh, it's a thin one. It's called Sinner by C.G. Burnett. It looks so pretty. Is this a, ooh, look at that cover. It looks so like personal. This is so cool. This is the back of it. I love how girly and pretty and pink it looks. Let's see. She was the one that got away. Destined for culinary greatness, Bethany left behind the only life she'd ever known and the man who broke her heart. He was the one she could never forget. Three years, three years could change a man. Gideon was proof of that. Pride and selflessness forced him to make choices that altered his life forever. But his biggest regret would always be letting her go. What happens when true love is set to simmer? For Bethany and Gideon, it may be a second chance to set fate right. Oh, that is so cute. It's a second chance romance. Oh, look at this font. It just looks, I want to read this. I might read this this month. Oh, and it is signed. Of course it is signed. I keep forgetting that all their books are signed, even though I just said it like a few minutes ago. Oh, oh, her name is Crystal. Cause I like her name is like CG, but like, it's Crystal. I'm such a dork. Okay, so the next book I am seeing is called Regrets by Nicole Dykes. Uh, two brothers, one girl, tragedy for all. I love this cover. It looks so like, it just looks, I love this. Like, they have a lot of chemistry together. That is cute. And then this is the back. It looks very similar to this one. Does it not? Like, I feel like, is it the same? It's not the same. Huh. It looks very similar. Maybe this is a second chance as well. Healing after a tragedy is hard enough. Doing it when you're haunted by past betrayal and so many things left unsaid feels nearly hopeless. It is impossible to come back from such anguish and all the regrets. Can you ever truly mend your heart and move on? Or are Penelope and Link destined for a life of punishment and pain? They're about to find out whether the line between love and hate is clear and if moving on after loss and the sting of deception is even possible. Hmm. That sounds, it sounds okay. This one is way more interesting to me, but this is okay. I don't think I'm going to read this this month. Actually, no. I'm making a vow to myself starting this month that I'm going to read every book that I get in my book subscription boxes. And as punishment, if I do not read the book that comes in that box, I can't get the next month's box. So... You guys have to keep me to that promise. I am promising myself because so far I've get so, do you guys see this? I have to do more videos. So far I've gotten so many book boxes and I'm not reading them. They're going on my shelf and they're just sitting there and then I'm buying other books and then they're sitting there and I'm just like, I have to read these books. So from now on, starting this month, Every book that I get, including these, will be read, reviewed. You should see them next month in my wrap up. So, I will be reading these. <laughs> Thankfully, they're short. One of the perks of being a member of the Reveal Book Box Club is that sometimes they have what they call scratch and dent sales. So, this, this happened recently, actually. And so, what they did, I think this is the second time they did it. What they did was they went on Facebook Live and they had kind of like an auction of like books like these and other romance books that are signed by the author. Oh, actually, I didn't show you guys that this was signed as well. Let's see. It says no regrets and then it has her name. But anyways, so all of the books that they send are signed. So their scratch and dent books are these exact same books. They might just have like some nicks, some bumps, things like that. It's not going to be anything drastic like it's missing a cover or there's like severe water damage. It's not going to be like that. Usually it's like a little like bend, bend here or like some scratches or something. Something that you probably won't even notice. These books will be about $8. You have to pay for shipping, which is about $3. Or you can choose to be, you know, faster shipping um, for a little bit more. Um, so they gave out so many books. Well, not gave out, but they sold so many books. It was kind of like a bidding thing where she was live and she was like, okay, the next book we have is this. If you want this book, comment this number and, you know, we'll send you an invoice. It it was so much fun. 
Um, and they actually saw me and they saw my video that I did for them and they were like, I loved it. And I was like, oh my God, like they're actually talking to me. People actually watch my videos. But um, I thought it was so cool. The only issue that I had is that <laughs> I actually feel like I want a book. It was called Queen Move. I was, um, and they said it was three copies available. And um, I was number two to like put in the secret code or whatever. And I didn't get any invoice or anything. I filled out the paperwork that was necessary, but I'm like, I never got anything. And everybody else have gotten their books. And I'm like, damn, I really wanted that. Cause like, it just made me so happy because that was a highly coveted book. And I was able to, I was gonna be able to get it for eight bucks. And like, I don't know, it made me a little sad that, you know, I kind of was overlooked, but I don't want to make a big deal about it. So, I mean, I didn't like reach out or anything, but like, same. So anyways, I guess I won't be reading that book. Um, and I love that it had a black woman on the cover. That's why I wanted it so bad. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys about that. They do it about uh, twice a year. So they might do it like next year that because that was recently. But like, I do think I'm going to try it again so that I can like get a whole bunch of things because they're $8. Like, do you know how much like books are? Like really expensive. And so, um, yeah, like, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, I can't wait for the next one. Hopefully, you know, and if it happens again, I'm just going to reach out to them. I feel like if I would have reached out, it probably would have been fixed. But just want to let you guys know that that is something that they do on Facebook. So, I mean, if you're subscribed already to this um, book box, definitely interact with them on Facebook um, and join their Facebook group because they do have like sales of like, you know, their books and $8 for a signed book like in romance that's so cool like that's not bad at all like go buy it but even if you can't afford it or if you want to just continue to live vicariously through me i will be unboxing this box next month i think i will keep it at two boxes every um month instead of the four once again because you know this new pack that i'm making with myself to read everything that i get um and you know because if not i won't be able to unbox it for you guys uh, i need you guys to keep me loyal to this promise that i'm making to myself <laughs> definitely will be unboxing it again next month super excited about that oh, stay tuned i will be making videos unboxing these boxes that you see behind me in just a few minutes and you'll see them soon <laughs> so until next time i will see you bye